Welcome back to Stay In, Stay Safe. Um, today I thought I'd do a watercolour, because I haven't done a watercolour for years, and it's a bit of a challenge for me. But I've taped my paper down. Hello, welcome. Thank you for all those people that sent me pictures. I've seen some amazing pictures. So I'm going to start with this pencil that I always use, uh, 2B pencil. So I've taped it all down the paper, okay? It's a thick cartridge paper. You can't use thin paper, really, for a watercolour. So I'm just sketching some rocks, a little uh, wall and some grass and some trees. We've already done trees. If you haven't seen the tree video, look at the tree video. So some roots and stuff for trees. I'm just, I found a little picture on the internet. I thought, you know, I'll just give it a go. I sort of copied it. Oh, this. Okay, this is given me uh, to me by a German student years ago, probably about 20 years ago. She saw me painting. She said, I want you to have this as a gift to make sure you carry on painting. And I, I was really touched by it. And um, I haven't used it for that long, 20 years. So I found some watercolors as well that I had kicking around. So I've got some uh, Prussian blue. These are colors. I didn't use the watercolors in there. Uh, that's burnt umber, burnt sienna. Uh, I did put yellow ochre on there, but I didn't use it. So I'm going straight with black. So those are the only colors I'm gonna use. So I'm using water, my little brush. Put water all over the canvas. Look at look at that. What happens when you add water to a piece of paper, and then a little bit of watercolor kind of just. The reason why you tape it down is because the paper will buckle, but once it dries, it will pull back. If it's taped down, it will pull back flat. Okay, so that's why you put the paper uh, the tape down. I don't even know what I was doing. I was kind of looking at a picture, but I kind of went a bit mental. So this is just Prussian blue. Um, and I'm adding a little, you know, horizon here, some sort of thing. I don't even know what I was doing. I went a bit crazy. With watercolors, you can just go crazy with it, really, and just let it do whatever it does with the wet and the water. Um, but the one thing you can't do is go back and make things white again. So you have to leave light where you want the light. I think I wanted the light um, behind the trees, so I left that lighter. Here I am back with Prussian blue, possibly a little bit of burnt umber mixed in. Oh, and I'm splattering it as well. I'm just kind of trying to make it messy. You can be as messy as you want. Um, this is the thing I love about watercolors is, you know, once you put the water on the paper, it just kind of expands and does what it does. I'm trying to control it here with the brush, but it is literally whatever comes out. Um, so this is Prussian blue and burnt umber. Possibly a bit of burnt sienna as well. I know I, I add burnt sienna right now. Yeah, that's burnt sienna coming in there a little bit. There you go. There it is. The burnt sienna is a lot more warmer, a warmer colour, more red. Um, but I'm trying to add some stones and some grass and things into this wall. Um, I don't want. I don't know what, what's that. I don't know. I think it went wrong. So like rocks. So I made the wall a bit higher because I went a bit wrong there. But that's the thing with the watercolour is you have to be really quick with it and you have to just go with it. Be like, right, that's the wall. Um, I mix into the sky. I don't know why I did that. I don't know. Just why not? Um, <laughs> trying to make it kind of loose. It's, it's really hard with watercolours. You want it to be loose. You don't want it to be, you don't want to be, you know, too contrived with watercolours. So I'm, I'm still using the same colours I used at the very beginning. Um, oh, here's some black. Coming with some trunks here from the trees. I'm trying to use that while it's still wet, let it bleed a little bit into the to the leaves and all that. I've got some trees here I want to put, but just I'm not even bothered about those. Um, the three trees is fine. I've got some colour here I'm putting in. That's that's Prussian blue, burnt umber, so and burnt sienna. So those three colours basically. Um, I know trees aren't blue, but this is a painting, right? So. Oh, I'm splattering. So I put a lot of paint on the brush, a bit of water, and I just flick, flick the brush. Just, I don't know, it just adds another texture, doesn't it? A little loose texture. With with this kind of watercolour, you want to be really loose with it. Like, just do whatever you want to do. Like, yeah. So, but then I think I'm done now. I need to wait for it to dry, because you can see all the shine of the water. Um, oh, that's burnt sienna down there. But it's, it's getting a bit too messy, so I, I'm like, okay, I'll leave it there, let it dry. I think I used, uh, you can use a hair dryer 
or fan or so I think I used my heater in my shed um, to actually dry this out so you can see after it's dry you know use whatever you want to help it dry it this is a fountain pen I found oh my gosh this is at least 20 25 years old but it's still working it's it's like a brush but it's a pen and it's a Chinese sort of writing pen but you get this beautiful thin line with the brush. Look at that. Look, I'm sanding these little stems in the tree. And the trunk, you can push down harder on the pen and it gets a bit thicker. And then you start drawing some rocks. I'm drawing some rocks here. I mean, really, it's like looking at the watercolor. Look at what you made, the mess you made, and bringing it back into something. So I'm doing that tree again, that tree shape and some rocks. Just down here, some detail. You know, just add a little bit of detail with a bit of black. Um, this really helps, but it has to be really dry when you do this. Okay, so make sure you don't, you know, don't do it when it's wet, but and these little branches, these little twigs and things, and little details. But you can see it still doesn't, I don't know. It doesn't look right, does it? But when you put a frame on it, it, it comes a little frame, I think. Look at that. Doesn't that look amazing? <laughs> doesn't that, look, that looks like a professional picture right so you can do that you can make a big mess and bye bye for now but look you can move it around still looks good right so make a mess but then make a frame okay it's a bit of paper cut with a hole thanks for watching i hope you make a mess and share it with me because i want to see it and stay in and stay safe all right but i want to see them make a mess all right